hello friends welcome back to my channel so today we are going to see a simple tutorial to see how to fetch the logs in docker using the command docker container logs okay so this is a very useful command which we will be using in our docker uh, environment because you know if you need to analyze some logs or of any containers running uh, this command will be really useful okay so the basic uh, format of the uh, the command is docker container logs or it start with docker logs then you have an options which you can give and the container name okay so that's how the command will be so we will see more about this uh, you know uh, in the practical section okay so i will show you how what, what command we can run and uh, what are the options we can use when creating the logs okay so before i start i would request you to subscribe to my channel like this video share and comment so if you go to the docker documentation so you can see about uh, docker logs so as i said the format would be docker container logs and the option and the container name right and the options what we have is like detail follow since tail right timestamp until right so these are some options but uh, you know what uh, we use it like you can use detail follow since and uh, you know timestamp i don't think tail is uh, working at this point as per when i was trying it okay so let's uh, try to go to our practical section okay so if you see this is a docker uh, machine where i'm running uh, on a sync device okay so if you don't know how to set up docker please check my tutorial now if you see i don't have any container running okay and i don't have any dead containers as well so in order to analyze uh, the docker uh, logs i need to create a container okay so let me create a container first so i'm going to create a simple ubuntu container okay uh, which will be running in the detached mode okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a loop on that container okay uh, like it will uh, give an output like what is the current date and it will go to sleep and that's all okay then it comes back again so let me create this container if i see docker ps you can see the container running right so so in order to check the logs so if you see docker logs right or it can be docker container logs so these are the four these are the two format which you can uh, use and the uh, next should be the container name which should be uh, this one or the container id okay so if i run this you can see it giving me the output of the logs right so if you see uh, every second 57 58 59 it create a log right so it's gonna uh, create an entry so if you are creating uh, another container like jenkins or prometheus or anything if you run this log it will give you the complete output on what is happening on the container like the uh, web uh, connection is happening apache is something is running or you know the jenkins configurations and all those these details you'll be able to see so this is a very useful command okay and this log what we are seeing is actually stored under var lib slash docker okay i'm sorry it's uh, let me check it okay i have missed cd so cd slash var slash lib slash docker and if you go there you have a uh, docker containers okay so you need to go to containers because we are talking containers and this is the container id which we just created so we need to go inside that okay and uh, if you go inside the container you have a file called the container id hyphen json dot log so this is the container this is the log actually what we are seeing when we run container logs okay so you see that right so it gives the complete details but it have more uh, details like what kind of output is it right okay so this is also a place where you can identify the logs okay now let's see some of the options which we see you know as part of the docker container log right so let's uh, learn docker container logs and the option okay let's give details and the uh, container name okay so i think we need to get the container name first okay so docker container logs hyphen details and the 
container ID or name. Okay. So now we see uh, it's also giving some uh, information. So it's almost the same. So there is no much more detail to add. Okay. But uh, you know, if you see this log, just stop there, right? So what I need is I want to uh, tail it. Okay. So let me put an option. So I will put hyphen F. Now if you see this logs keep running right so it's uh, not stopped yet so if you see every one minute let's keep uh, following the logs so this is one way you can you have the log running always okay so the same command with hyphen f you can put like a slash slash follow it is also test the same okay so it's the same output which we are getting Let me clear out the screen. So if you want to know what are the options available for Docker container logs, you can go to Docker container logs slash help. So now you see you can uh, it will show you the different options, right? Okay. Uh, I think it's giving for Docker command. Let's see Docker logs help. Now you can see that right docker logs so if you see these are the options we have hyphen f which we already saw like uh, follow we have since then tail and uh, hyphen t for timestamp right and until so let's see the hyphen t also so it should be docker logs hyphen t and uh, the ubuntu container so i need to get the id so docker logs hyphen t and the container id okay so you can see it's giving us more information with the timestamp right so that's what uh, it does so uh, it's not just that you can have one option so you can even have two options at the same time so you can have hyphen t and also hyphen f together so you can see it's giving the timestamp and also it's uh, completely following the logs so this is a really useful uh, command so which will be helpful for you in your day-to-day uh, -day analysis so when you see some issues with your docker container the first thing what you need to do is just check the logs if you see something wrong there okay then you analyze it okay so that's what I wanted to just show you so you go through the docker documentation try out from your end so it's a simple short tutorial I I think you know I'm trying to create some short tutorial on small topics which you help will be helpful for all okay so I hope uh, this tutorial is informative for you and I thank you for watching kindly subscribe to my channel like this video share and comment